My personal beef with having kids is that I think having kids is an inherently very selfish thing. Selfish on the part of the parents because you are bringing in a whole human and forcing them to live and participate in life and society. And for what? Bragging rights because you feel it's time? Well, of course I did say that. It's coming from um, someone that they say is a Nigerian LGBTQ writer, Vincent Desmond. I like the fact that you said my personal, so that's your personal business because this is a very personal, stupid statement. Well, he said this you is know. personal beef with kids and then he ended up looking like it's a beef with, okay, his personal beef with having kids. Yeah, yeah kids. so it's his personal beef with having kids. It doesn't concern me, it doesn't concern, does it concern you? I've heard the selfish angle, but I've never heard How it. are you going to go about it I've without being selfish? That's being what I want to know. A fault of the parents. It's, it, it has felt... How do I put this now? So, for those who have been able to talk about how they feel about it, it's more of saying the child can be very selfish. And you keep giving and giving because you brought this child to the world. Mm. So, you cannot start thinking that uh, they owe you anything. It is the other way ar around. You owe them mm. and you have to keep giving and giving. And even in society, most times don't care about how you feel. The point is, you are a parent. Just be parents. How you feel is not important. How whatever the, actions, the child is you know, selfish. But, but it's your decision yeah, so to have a child, child unless selfish. Like raising a child. a child can come off selfish. Not necessarily from the child's perspective. Yeah. Oh. Right. Well, I, I, that's even worse. I don't think <laughs> if you ask I think me, fair. if you ask me, I don't see any selfish thing. It's 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 biology. It's nature. Reproduction is natural. So what are you saying? Reproduction is am natural, but taking care I, of a child is Yeah, is taking care of a child before getting pregnant or before inserting um, whatever it is to, <laughs> have, yeah, nobody's saying to, it's to have a child. child. It's just a perspective. Yeah, no, child. I know. And I'm some, just saying some that. Some people are very serious with it that they are not going to have children. I think that you can be that very reason. selfish about bringing children into the world for different reasons. There's some yeah. people that have a lot of emotional baggage know that they're not upright people, as in like they're not normal. And probably haven't thought deep enough to say, can I bring a child into this world and give them the right effort and values and display the right behaviors to bring an up, raise an upcom, um, upright child? I don't think the answer is yes, and they still selfishly go ahead and bring children because they want to feel among. That's selfish. You can be, you can be selfish in the sense that you want to lock a, a man up. There's, that happens a lot. I want to lock the person up. It's no longer about the child, and you want to selfishly keep this person that's in your life or whatever. You bring a child. There's so many reasons why people bring children into the world that I think is really horrible. Um, I've struggled with the idea of having kids of my own because of that. I think that a lot of the times, especially inside of the world, we are very lackadaisical like about the, the the seriousness of having a child and you see people bringing children into the world very unprepared and i, I think that that's mm, you see that's not <laughs> enough for me um and that's that that for me is really really off um there's people i used to think that why am i even bringing children to this world when i can just adopt one and you know there's so many children in the world and everything like that but once you start falling in love you now want to obviously have like a love child like they'll say like you want your love to make another life and things like that even then i'm still going to be really careful and take myself out of the situation and not be selfish, but rather think of the child and what's best for the child. Am I financially ready? Am I emotionally but, ready? But can, can I give we, them a happy home? Can we look at what he's saying? If we can have that on the screen again, where he was saying something about you're bringing a human, I think it's a child anyway. Yeah. You're bringing a child to life and then forcing them to live and participate in life and society. Yeah. I think that's... I think it's confusing, or it's coming from a confused place. What do you mean by forcing them to participate this is something that in life? In the millennial, millennial um, um, will I say generation, this is something that's very common. People talk about having serious anxiety living today's life. Um, if he had anything to do with the LGBTQ community, you can understand why. So is there why. any way that a, a, a parent now, I mean, you are definitely on the table of saying I must have a child, right? So is it possible for a, a parent to have a communication to the child, <laughs> with the child that is coming from wherever to say now are you willing to live your life no I mean, yeah you're missing the point he's say, he, what he's saying is that th there's people who are paranoid about the world that we live in today mm -hmm. there's for different and is reasons. it a fault of the parent no it's not he's just he's personally just saying that he doesn't know he doesn't think it's it's right maybe he can't handle life stress or whatever bringing somebody into today's world to might be hard stress. and then he also separated our thoughts and talked about bragging rights which those two things I personally the bragging understand. right, the selfish part of um, you want to lock a man down, you want to do that. 
I totally understand. But you see all this forcing a child to live in a society. Who forced me to live in this society? Uh, did it's you just... have a choice in being here? No, I, what, I, I would what, I have had a choice. choice. Exactly. Because so someone like the so child can we, have a conversation with you parents to say, yeah, I am not so we, living life. How do we all... That is, we're just giving room for a talk that doesn't even need to be spoken about. Do you understand? He's because not having a conversation. He's saying the obvious. Like, I don't understand. He's not saying the obvious. He's saying, he's saying you, you just said now that you don't have He's talking in the nonsense. <laughs> in the rub <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm reading it differently. But mm. you just you just said now that you didn't have a right to be here. And that's what he just tweeted. So what's the difference? Who has a right? My but dad didn't have the right. So what is the brand new thing that he said that people don't understand? Yeah, but he's making it look like it's the fault of the parents. Oh, right. That's, that's what your he's issue. making it look like. Right. Okay. Are you that's thinking in the nonsense? I, I, like I, said, I, don't I, I know I'll from. be a parent in life as well, but any child that stresses me, I will stress. I don't, I don't have time for. So no, now nah, maybe you are hearing this from the above. <laughs> you are taking. You are Let's have a conversation. Maybe this is how you need permission <laughs> on air.